So good afternoon everyone. I am Summer Sargudines and I am here to report my topic which is chapter 22 the exile in the pitan in 1892 to 1896. So Rizal lived in a far away the pitan. A remote town in Mindanao which was under the missionary jurisdiction of Jesuit. So, in this fourth year, Integrum, his life was religiously unexciting but was abundantly faithful with varied achievements. So, number one, he practiced medicine. Number two, purchased scien scientific studies. Three, continued his artistic and literary works for why did his knowledge on, of language establish school for boys promote community project invented a wooden machine for bricks engage in farming and commerce so so the first topic is the beginning of exile in the pitan so the steamer Cebu which brought Rizal to the Pitan carried a letter from Father Pablo Pastel, a superior of the Jesuit Society in the Philippines to Father Antonio Obac, Jesuit Paris Press of the Pitan. That in this letter, Father Pastel did form Obac that Rizal could be could live at the Paris convened on the following condition that Rizal publicly retract his errors concerning religion and make a statement that clear through Spanish and against revolution. Number two, that he performed the that he performed the church rates and make a general confession of his past life. Number three, that 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 he informed that he informed he conduct himself in an explanatory manner as a Spanish subject and a man of religion. Consequently, Rizal did not agree on this condition. He lived in the house of the commandant Captain Carnicero. Carnicero was was shamed by results fine qualities and personality they ate together at the same t table and uh, and have and have many friendly conversation carnicero claimed to know that result that result that was a common fell on much fellow boss terra he gave and he gave and good reports to on his Personal to governor disposal and he gave and give him complete freedom to go anywhere reporting once a week on his office and and house to result his part ad admired that kind of generous captain so as an evidence of his team. He wrote a poem entitled Adon Carnicero on the occasion of the captain's birthday. So, on August 20, 1892. So, the second topic is wins in, lottery, in Manila Lottery on September 21, 1892. Due to that, the mailboat Butuan was approaching the town with Color pennants flying the sea, Burgess, Captain Carnicero, thinking that a higher, a higher Spanish official was coming, has still dressed in a gala uniform and informed that the town fox to to gather at the sh shore at himself, brush there, bringing a brush of band. So, the mail boat but one brought known Spanish official but the happily 
tens that the lottery ticket no number 9736 gently owned by Captain Carnicero, Dr. Jose Rizal, and Francisco Equilior, a Spanish res resident of the Polog. A night bro a night bringing town of the Pitan who won the second prize of twenty thousand in the government owned Manila lottery. So the lottery ticket number results remaining share. So results remaining share lottery ticket was 6200 but upon receiving receiving the sum he gave 2000 to his, to his father and 200 to his friend Masa in Hong Kong and the rest he invested well by purchasing and of agriculture lines along the Talisay al one kilometer away from the Bhutan. He never drank. So Rizal remaining winning in Manila lottery ticket reveals aspect of his lighter side. He never drank hard hard there and never smoked, but he was a lottery addict. The one is resolve Pastel's debate on religion. It start when Father Pastel sent him a book by Sarda with evidence that the latter result should be signed from his Majaldera's fullness in viewing religion from the from the press of individual judgment and esteem. So. This interesting debate between the two, two brilliant Polynesians ended in Kundush civilly. So, Rizal could, could not convince by Pascal's agreement. He lived in the Pitan behind the pail of his mother church. The debate can be read in four letters. So, on, on January 20, 1890, Rizal wrote to Blooming Street from Parish. He wrote to Blooming Street from Parish, which says, I want to hit the, pa the prayers, but only prayers who utilize religion, not only as a shield, but also a weapon. Armors each. I falls. I falls forced to attract their falls and super superstitious religion in order to fight the enemy who did himself behind it. So, although Rizal did not subscribe to to Pascal's religion interpretation of Catholic, he continued to be a Catholic. He continued to hear Mass at the Catholic Church of the Pitan and the uh, uncelebrate Christmas and other religious festas in the Catholic way. So, behind the debate, Pastels and Rizal were still friends. Pastels gave Rizal a copy of Imitation de Cristo by Thomas a Kimpis Imitation of Christ, while Rizal gave Pastels a bust of St. Paul which he was made. Rizal challenged a freshman to a duel. So, it start of who, Mr. Juan Lardet, 
a businessman who purchased many logs from the land of Rizal. So, and it happened that some of the logs were poor and poor quality. So, Rizal became involved in a quarter with a Frenchman, a querence in the Pitan, when an Antonio Miranda, a Dapitan merchant and a friend and a friend of Rizal. So Lardet in the lottery came to Antonio Miranda, a Dapitan merchant of a friend of Rizal, expressed of disgust with the business deals and start that if he Rizal were a truthful man, he could, he would told me that the lumber not included in the account were bad. So, Riz, so Rizal had he read read that letter. He flared up anger regarding the to the Frenchman and savage comment as an effort. In this integrity, he's confront, he confronted Lardet to challenge him to a duel. When the commandant heard in that incident, Carnicero told the Frenchman to apologize rather than accept the challenge. Because Rizal is an expert in march in, in merchant arts particular particularly in defensing and physical shooting on march 30 1893 lardet wrote a letter to Rizal apology apologizing from the insulting comment then on march on 1890, Rizal sensitivity caused him to challenge Antonio Luna and W. Iritana at the same year. Rizal and Father Sanchez Father Obak Cora of the Pitan, Father Jose Villar Villa Clara, Cora of the Polog, and Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez, Rizal's favorite teacher at the Ateneo de Manila. The only press who defined the Results Nole Mitang Here. On his birthday, Rizal gave him a previous gift, a manuscript entitled in Estudio de Lengua Tagala. Studios of Tagalog Language. Tito hmm? the idyllic life in the Pitan on August 1893. Members of Rizal's family took a visit in him in order to assume his loneliness in the in the insulated spot of Spanish power in the moorland. Among those were his mother, sister, Trinidad, Maria, Narcisa, and nephews, Stam, Miss Lau, Mar Maria Clau, and, and Prodicio. He built his home by the seal home of Talisai, surroundings of fruits, of trees. He had also another house 
for his school boys and hospitals for his patients. On December 19, 1893, Rizal wrote to Blumenthal describing his life in the Pitan. Rizal encountered Guido Prior Spy on November 1893. While Rizal was living peacefully at and happily at his home, in Talisay, a kilometer away from the Pitan, his mother, sister, Narcisa, Trinidad, and some nephews were living with him. His peaceful life was suddenly jolted with, with a stranger incident involving a spy of friars. Rizal as a teacher. So, in in 1893 so he established a school which existed what until the end of his exile in july 1896 on march 13 he wrote a letter to Blumen street with this which says that he had 16 pupils in his school and these pupils did not pay any tuition. Rizal taught his boys reading, writing, languages, Spanish, and English. Ge geography, history, mathematics, such as arithmetic and ge geometric, industrial works, natural studies, moral, and gymnastics. He trained them how to collect specimens of plants and animals to love work. And he said of in the in the Ateneo the best pupils was called superior. And he said of the branch the poorest pupils occupied the end of the bench. So outside class, our result encouraged them to play games in order to strengthen their bodies. They had gymnastic, boxing, wrestling, stone throwing, swimming, harness, which is the native fishing and boating. So next one is him to Talisai. Rizal conduct his school in Atalisai. He wrote him to Talisai. So he wrote him to Talisai for her pupils to sing. So okay. Okay. contribution to science. He had built up a rich collection of Conchology consisting of 346 shells representing 203 species, which is the bird, snake, lizard, frog, and shells plants. He sent this specimen to the Museum of Europe. Especially the the Dresden Museum in in payment for the, this variable specimen, the European scientists sent him a scientific book and surgical instrument during his fourth year. Exile in the Pitan resolved build up a rich collection. So where he where he discover a rare species. Which were named by his honor by the scientists among those were Draco Rizale. 
a flying dragon, a, po, a pogonia rizale, a small beetle, and pacoporus rizale, a rare frog. So, lingu linguistic studies. So, in the Pitan, Rizal learned Bisayan, Cebuan, and Malay language. He knew he know 22 languages, which is Bisaya, Tagal, Ilocano, Tagalog, Subwanon, Spanish, Latin, Greek, English, French, German, Arabic, Malay, Hebrew, Sastik, Dutch, Kata, Kata, Catalan, Italian, Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese, Swedish, and R Russian. So let's move on to artistic work in the Pitan. Result continues made his artistic pursuit in the Pitan. He continued painting skills to the sisters of charity who preparing the sanctuary of the Holy Virgin in their private chapel for so Rizal made sketch that attracted him in the Pitan. He drew the, for instance, the three rare specimen, which is specimen and animals, animals alive, which the dragon, the frog, the beetle. So he had sketched the numerous one day of 1894, some of his Pupils secretly went to the Pitan in a boat of Talisai. A puppy of Surya, a result's dog, tried to follow and was devoured by a crocodile. So the stress of moral incident, he modeled a statue representing the mother dog killing the crocodile by the way of revenging her lost puppy and call it the revenge of the mother. So another sculpture, sculpture of results in the Pitan and is father brush of Gum Gumer, one of his Ateneo professor, and a statue of a girl called a girl in the Pitan. A wooden carving, Josephine Bracken, his wife, and a brush of Saint Paul, which he gave to Father Pastels. So let's move on. Let's proceed to Rizal as a farmer. He brought 16 hectares of land in Talisai, where he built his home, school, and house, hospital, and planted cacao, coffee, sugar cane, coconuts, and fruit trees. So left later, he acquired more lands until his total holdings. He reached 70 hectares containing 6,000 hemp plants, 1,000 coconut trees, and numerous fruit trees, sugar cane, corn, corn coffee, and cacao. So Rizal also introduced a modern method of agriculture where he had observed in Europe and America. And he also encouraged the, the Pitan farmers to discard their pre-method system in Thailand and ad 
adapt the agriculture methods and he imported agriculture's machinery from the United States. He also want to establish a new Kalamba, but he could not give the support from the government. So, let's proceed to Rizal as a businessman. So, aside from farming, Rizal engaged in partnership Ramon Caron Adapitan Merchants he had profitably business ventures in fishing, copra, and industries. So he in invented his relatives, part particularly Saturnina. So he invited his relatives, particularly Saturnina and Hidalgo to come to Mindanao for there is a van and ample fields to for business in Ireland. He particularly told Saturnina that is that in the Pitan she could profitably engage in textile jewelry and hemp business. So he wrote to Hidalgo on January 19, 1893, that he expressed his plans to improve the fishing industry for the Pitan. So he want Hidalgo to send him to, to good Kalamba, fisherman who can teach the Dapitan fox better methods of fishing. So Rizal organized on January 1, 1895. The Cooperative Association of the Pitan Farmers improved the farm products, obtained better obtained better outlets for them, collect funds for their purposes and help the pro producers and workers by establishing a store wherein they can buy prime com commodities at mo moderate prices. So the next topic is result invented ability. One little no fact about Rizal was that he was a also inventor. It should be remembered that in 1997, while practicing medicine in Columba, while practicing medicine in Columba, in he in. He invented a cigarette lighter, which he sent as a gift to Blooming Treat. He called it Solpukan. Unique cigarette lighter was made of wood. It machines said result is based on the principle of composed air during his exile in the Pitan. He invented a machine for making bricks, could manufacture about 6,000 6, bricks daily. So, next is my retreat. In February 1895, Donia Theodora with his eyesight fully restored returned to Manila her long stay in the Pitan she saw busy her talented son was re 
rated that he had neglected that the muse she requests him to write a poem poem three again in res response to her request Rizal wrote a beautiful poem about his serene life as an exile in the pitan and sent to it to her on october 22 1895 his poem was me beretero or should i say my retreat which is acclaimed by literary critics as one of the best ever penned by Rizal. So now let's proceed to the next topic which is Rizal and Josephine Bracken. Rizal felt lonely in the pitan. He needed someone to cheer up in his lonely exile. He need so in in God's own in God's own time he's somebody so this time somebody came to the pitan and she was Josephine and she was Josephine Josephine Bracken an Irish girl of sweet 18 so Rizal and Josephine fell in love each other of first sight after a after a worldwide romance of one month they agreed to marry but father obak refused to refuse the press of of the pitan refu refused to marry them without the permission of the Ben shop of Sivu, and when Mr. Tuffer heard of their project marriage, is Sha ang nagadapt ni Josephine, and he also blind. So when Mr. Tuffer heard of their project marriage, he flared up in violent range. So he tried to commit suicide by cutting of off so she he commit suicide by cutting off his throat with a scissor Rizal however however Rizal grabbed his twist and pretended him from killing himself so Rizal and Josephine live happily in the pitan at one time rizal wrote a poem from josephine entitled josephine josephine rizal extremely happy because josephine expecting a baby but unfortunately he played a frank on her Pretending, pretending her so that she prematurely gave birth to an 18-month baby boy who lived only for three hours. This last son, so Rizal was named Francisco in honor of Don Francisco, the hero's father and was born in the Pitan. So the next topic is Rizal and the Katipunan. So there was a secret revolutionary society called Katipunan which he founded on July 7, 1892. So in a secret meeting of Katipunan, a little river called Botikang Banok near the town of Pasig on May 2, 1896. Dr. Rico Valenzuela 
was named emissary to the Pitan in order to inform Rizal of the plan of the Katipunan to launch a revolution for freedom's sake. So Rizal rejected to Bonifacio so Rizal rejected Bonifacio Odarius project so to plug the country in bloody revolution he was of the sincerely belief that it was premature for the two reasons the first one is the people are not ready for revolution and the second is is arms and funds must be must must first collecting before raising the the cry of revolution he also disapprove disapprove of the plan of katipunan to 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 reassure him because he had given his words of honors to spanish authorities and he did not want to break it so the next topic is volunteers as military doctor in Cuba so months before the Katipunan conducted him result offered had service as military doctor in Cuba which was then he was furious of a revolution and a raging yellow fever epidemic there was storage of physician to minister to the needs of the spanish crops and he and the cuban people it was blumentritt who told him to the 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 pro the probable health situation in world in war ridden cuba advised him to volunteer as army physician there acting upon blumentritt's advice rizal wrote to governor general ramon balco disposals successor on December 17, 1885 offering him service military doctor in Cuba wala man siya gi replyan so wala na lang siya nag expect nga replyan pa jud siya so a letter from governor Bal- Balaco dated July 1 so imagine he sent he sent siya og letter December og gireplyan siya July 1 na 1896 ag arrive in the 